Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'll be giving you a prediction reading for the 6th of Feb. If you are new and you'd like to, please subscribe. Hit those like buttons, guys, and you know the drill. Feel free to comment down below. Okay, I'll close my eyes, get started. I'll see what comes up. <clears throat> God, I'm still getting people, oh God, this is a little people and peasants, which is all of us, are still going around and around. It's their government sending them on a wild goose chase, see? That's the image I'm getting. They're just going around and around and around. It's like a broken record. We had that song the other day, You Spin Me Right Round, Baby, Right Round. Well, it's just going on and on. Probably not for us. We jumped off the record player quite a long time ago, guys. If you're on this channel, that means you're awake and you're no longer spinning around just doing what your government is telling you to do. So I'm again getting that song Dizzy. That song Dizzy, you're making me dizzy, my head is spinning. These people are getting dizzy because there's too much coming at them. We know the rate rises are all about to go up again globally. Um, let's take people down to nothing. They're still working that. Um, these global elites. <sighs> the pe little people and peasants are getting exhausted, tired, overwhelmed, um, wondering how they're going to navigate this. And meanwhile, they're still going around and around, listening to their government. I don't know why anyone listens to government, really, because we know they all lie. We know all, well, nearly all politicians lie. So... It's amazing that people just fell for this stuff, isn't it? Um, so I'm just getting this tiring energy. And and sadly, it, when people get dizzy, and we've all been there, it makes you feel a little powerless because you don't feel... Um, what's the word? Um, you don't feel stable. You feel like you could fall over. That's what happens. when It's like when you're doing that the game at a kid's party is it pin the tail on the donkey or pinata or whatever you want to call it like at a kid's party and they put the blindfold on and spin you you know you're very wobbly you can't find the pinata and you can't um, <clears throat> you, um th this is the kind of stuff you can't find where to pin the tail on the donkey um you're all disorientated that's what's happening to these people who are just gonna have to wake up they're becoming disorientated because where they thought their life was going and what they thought was happening and what they thought was the truth is now becoming a big bunch of lies and they're being taken in a whole other direction. They thought if they got the, let's, let's, let's look at what they were told. Two weeks to flatten the curve. You'll get your freedom back if you do this, this and this. And now we're about to take all your freedom from you. We actually have been for three years. <clears throat> and you're just going to start seeing that now. Like, you know, that's got to make your head pretty dizzy, I'm thinking. Um, so that's what I'm getting. I'm still getting those songs and that feeling of, like, instability. Not for us, but for the people waking up. Okay, let's see where else we go. <laughs> oh. See, I was actually thinking yesterday when we were talking about that spy balloon that China's been putting spy balloons out. We know China's going to intimidate. That's just what they do. I don't think that's really anything new, to be quite honest. It might get a bit more intense. But I was actually thinking, oh, man, this everything we're going through is ridiculously tiring at the moment, guys. But I was actually thinking last night about um, how do we know it was a spy balloon from China? <laughs> Did it have, I'm from China, written on it? Did it have made in China? <laughs> you know, how would you know that a spy balloon <laughs> zillions of miles up is made in China? It's, I'm guessing it's probably got no label on it. Um, and, you know, it wouldn't be hard for Biden to kind of, you know, set these things up so he looks like he's getting his political power back and he's taking charge of his country and you know create an illusion to the little people that 
you know, he's a good guy. He's saving everyone from China. He's a great guy. And all the time, as we know, creating some very good distractions from the Hunter Biden laptop scandal event and documents found in the house events. Um, very good distraction because now, oh yes, people in America, not you if you watch my channel, of course, but the little people and peasants are gonna be fearful again because they think China might come and create, start war with America. Oh yes, it's very scary. We're not gonna worry then about the documents in the house and all that. We're now worried we're gonna get attacked by China. God, how do they fall for this nonsense and garbage, honestly? But that, you know, we know how it all goes. It's all part of the clown show and frightening the little people and scaring them to death thinking there's gonna be a big war. Oh God, it's just nuts. They can tell people anything, honestly. It's getting ridiculous, isn't it? So that's what I'm getting. Where's the proof it came from China? It's a big question mark that I have. Oh, I'm sure you guys have thought of that as well. Anyway, so it's making Biden look very important and like he's definitely got control of the political, well, according to him, the political stage. I'm guessing it's probably his doppelganger that's speaking, but that's just my opinion. Um, let's see where else we go. <clears throat> I am getting England and I'm getting sushi and he has temporarily rolled up the red carpet of the Reset Agenda rollout. It's only temporary though. It's only um, because they're doing so much prep for the coronation. Um, and he's actually, it's showing me, he's tied, he's rolled up the red carpet, right? Leaned it against the wall and he's tied it with a beautiful red ribbon um, ready for its next arrival. So I do feel like he's temp temporarily holding back on um, rolling all this out, which means all the things to do with the reset agenda, as we know, that are coming. They're still going to hit hard, but he's temporarily um, placed it very gently to the side while they begin the coronation preparations. Because may all come around pretty quickly, guys. Um, so they can't have... See, they don't want, <laughs> and here we go. Because you had all those huge strikes, which you did, you've had Ambrose nurses. I know you guys are awesome at um, letting me know what's going on over there. We did say this would happen. They don't want more of these things happening because they know these movements are growing. So they don't want this all happening and ruining the coronation and, and um, sort of, um, inst well, what they're saying is they don't want people to focus over here at the strikes and everything and people standing up in the marches they and and what's this about the reset you know they don't want seed planting going on around waking people up so they want people to stay looking at the coronation so i would say that strike and the um well semi-strike protest that you guys had in the uk was it in england probably um Oh, sorry guys, you guys in England have had enough of this rubbish. I can understand you've had enough of the royals, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> now I noticed Harry's ex-girlfriend's jumped on. She'd be getting paid a little bit, I'm sure, for her little interview. Everybody's jumping on the Kardashian, royal Kardashian bandwagon. Um, so I am getting that, that they've just rolled the carpet up a, just temporarily over here. Just to settle the crowds is virtually the image that I'm getting. Um, so all eyes are on the coronation and what's important. <laughs> oh, no. So it's not a bad thing, though, because it might s give more people time to wake up. Um, because we know they're going to hit hard. They want to hit hard. Oh, my God. Honestly, guys, you guys over there are exhausted People have, they've had enough. And I don't think this is you guys watching my channel. It's the sleepwalkers over there. See, we've got to remember that you guys have been mucked around a lot. <clears throat> We're forgetting about the Boris Johnson partying guy event. 
um, the Liz Truss circus show, clown show, whatever that was. We don't even know what that was. There's been a lot that you have had to do. Oh, not to forget the lovely Matt Hancock. <laughs> Just to, I heard, was, did I see something about him getting beaten up or something the other day? Mm. <laughs> oh, we do wonder why, don't we, with these people. Um, so I am getting that, that you guys are ex completely exhausted. Um, so that's why they're just focusing on the coronation. Because they want to bring joy back into the people. Mm. Okay, let's see where else we go. In Berlin get in Berlin and they're showing me visuals actually of the Berlin Wall um, they're showing me visuals of all the graffiti on the Berlin Wall it must have been oh, was it made of Besser blocks I don't know but I'm getting these visuals of graffiti and, and I'm getting when the wall was being pushed down like when the wall was being broken down in Berlin um, that was a very big pivotal moment in history um, that moment. So I'm getting that. Um, and, and the guides are kind of saying, and we're there again. We're there again, except there's <clears throat> there's like an invisible wall. So it's the wall between people and government. So this is what I'm getting for Berlin. Um, there's like a wall between the people and the government. Um... Hang on a minute. That needs to be broken down. Needs to be broken down. Um, and it's like, it's almost saying, if you think of Besser blocks or big concrete wall, it, it's like blockages to get to government. The little people can't get, seem to get to the government. I'd say this is probably around a lot of protesting. Now there's been a little bit going on about the climate protesting in Germany with Greta Thunberg, is it? Um, for, oh yes, the WEF puppet. Um, but it's almost like the people can't seem to penetrate the cabinets in the government. The people can't get seem to get to the government. It's like this government's, like, well, as we know, is very protected in Germany and they're out of reach. The people can't seem to knock this wall down. They're trying very hard and keep trying. Um, so Germany has really risen up to the challenge, but they're trying to knock this wall over. Oh, God. People in Germany have had enough. They're sick of fighting. They're sick of fighting. They're sick of having to fight for, as we know, their freedom and their lives and their livelihood. It's, this is crazy. So I am getting that Berlin Wall. But look, guys, the fact that it showed me the Berlin, Berlin Wall collapsing and when it was first starting to be collapsed... That's a good thing because that could mean that things are collapsing in these parts as well. So let's take that as a positive, guys, that the wall um, to government is starting to collapse and the little people are getting a stronghold there. Sorry, guys, I just got to have some iced tea this morning after talking about our um, Japanese tea houses yesterday. <laughs> I've run out of water. Um, okay, let's see where else we go. God, I'm getting Australia. Mm. I'm getting the centralised bank currencies. Um, we know, we know there's a bit going on in Australia at the moment. We're not quite sure what. Elbow's been having a lot of meetings with all his premiers, you know, Dictator Dan, Palachuk, um, Perrottet, my um, premier. All of them been coming together and there's been lots of discussions about, yes, the health industries. Um, but I also feel like there's things they talked about that we don't know about. And I would say it's the digital currency system. Um, we, know, we know these things are getting fired up now, ready to get rolled out and started. So I am getting that for Elbow. Um, he's been given, oh no, he's been given the green light go ahead to start the ball um, rolling, guys. He... He's um, ready to put things into action. 
See, I believe, and I'm sure you guys agree, Australia's been a bit of a giant experiment since this whole CV thing started. Um, there's certain countries that seem to have been testing grounds. I think Israel, we could all say, would be one. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, definitely. Um, you know, and other countries too, not just us. But, yeah, there's a lot happening in Australia right now. Um, and it's really going to shock people. It's going to shock people when they start hearing about it. And this could be about the digital currency. Um, there's a lot of talk here at the moment, guys, and I'm sure it is where you guys are too, about the notes, the money notes, and how they're removing Charles off the notes. I think they're going to put a First Nation person or Aboriginal person on there or something of that nature. Um, I'm not quite sure, but Charles won't be happy about that. So I'm sure this is going to happen globally. I mean, really, do we really need to look at Charles on our bank notes, like our money? Not really. <laughs> oh, I mean, that you could, you know, different if it was like a Brad Pitt or something like that. Maybe we could cope. So anyway, so this is what I'm getting. Changes around the monetary systems in Australia. That's going to start to happen soon. Um... God, how's the enormity of this task? I talk about it all the time to my husband. I always say, this is a task of changing the world, which is what they're planning, is massive. It's so huge. You can't even imagine where to begin. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, that's what I'm getting for Australia, for the little peasants um, in Australia. Mm. We're going to be hit soon with the digital... We know it all goes on in China. Gosh, they've even got, isn't it China? They've got the shops now that you just do that. You go into the little booth and then you enter the shop. There's not even anyone operating them. It's going to be no jobs. All going to be like robots. It's so weird. But people just don't see it coming still. They think it doesn't exist. And meanwhile, China, it's all working over there. Anyway, credit scoring coming to a town near you, as we said the other day. All right, let's see what else we have. God, I am getting the New Zealand government. I'm getting hippo. And he's turning over... Mm, he's turning over documents. Um, let me see what... Uh, this could be to do with renewables, I think. This is about the deadlines, the dates. Um, the dates are being brought forward. Um, about the you know, renewable challenge dates, meaning when everything's got to be improved by, you know, it was 2030, but a lot of them are bringing it back to 2030, sorry, 2025. Um, this is the kind of stuff I'm seeing in New Zealand now. Um, he's speeding, Hippo's going to start speeding things up. Um... He just wants to... See, they all just want to get this implemented and done. So, like I said about the drag cars yesterday, they just want it implemented and done. And the quicker it gets rolled out, the better, because then no one can stand against it. Because they know they've had so many protests over the last few years, haven't they? And strikes and people standing up. And it keeps highlighting the reset. And they don't want it to be highlighted. So, I'm even getting that for New Zealand. Um... That hippo, I'm getting that he's, this is Chris Hipkins, if you're new here in New Zealand. He's, he's squashing a lot of his own cabinet ministers. He is. I know somebody mentioned that to me as well yesterday. Um, there's a lot of changes and things, but he's actually, he, he's, um, he squashes people. He's a person who tries to dominate with his personality we know we get the image of Fozzie Bear off the Muppet show we got the other day for him, like, Fozzie Bear. But he's a um, he's a bit of a goof. He's not very well liked. And he talks down to people. He has this... Well, see, this is the weird part. He has this inferiority complex, so he tries to override it by acting more superior to people. Uh, where do these people come from? I'm just getting that for Hippo. 
He's not well liked even amongst his cabinet. Mm. But he's going to be, he's focusing on the dates and bringing all this renewable stuff forward. He wants it to happen quicker, sooner than later. I always tell you they're very competitive, all these global elites. They compete with each other. It's just ridiculous. That's what I'm getting for hippo. All right, I'll see if there's something else to close with today. God, I am getting visuals in Germany of German soldiers. <sighs> They're trying to put together their army intimidation. And this could be against the little people and peasants. It could be because that would have quite an impact, I would think. Um, there's a lot of prep, a lot of training going into this. Um, they're getting daily commands. I'm getting this in Germany. Um, in case these fightbacks get bigger and out of control, um, they're preparing German. Mm. So if you do go to any protest around there, guys, always wear your goggles, like for capsicum spray and things like that, and your face masks. Um, oh, this is just crazy, isn't it, guys? But, you know, this is globally, too. If you think there's going to be any uh, capsicum spray, <laughs> be prepared with your little backpack if you go to some of these things because you never know what sort of... Well, guys are saying shit's going to come flying at you. I told you about the rubber bullets here in Australia and the uh, sonic devices that burnt people's lips and um, gave me really bad vertigo and people got really sick. Um, so just be aware of those things. Pack things in your backpacks, guys. Bottles of water, in case the caps can spray. Um, just, you know, just be prepared. That's what the guides are saying, and, and this is in Germany. Might get a little heated over there, I'm guessing. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Getting the word, oh, the guides are saying there'll be redemption. There will be redemption. They're saying that payback is coming. Um, a lot of these global elites, like, think they're getting away with all this now. But long term, um, lot, you know, that's what the guides are saying. Like, imagine if, oh, my God. Imagine how angry people are going to be even at their doctors, knowing their doctors have been silenced by APRA, FDA, CDC, blah, blah, blah. And then when people find out, they're even going to be angry at their local little doctor. Imagine how angry and pissed they're going to be at their government leaders and all these people who have lied to them in the mainstream media. Like, imagine when they figure it out. And that's what the guys are saying. The guys are saying, calm as a bitch. Calm as a bitch. And the guides are saying, like, so many of them are going to be in trouble this year. And this is around the legality. See, it comes back to the lawsuits. My husband always said this right in the very beginning of the mandates. And that he said, this is going to end up... The, the only ones that are going to benefit from this, apart from Big Pharma, is going to be the lawsuit, the lawyers and the solicitors and all the people who are um, dealing with all the backlash um, and the destructive destruction of the path that's been left behind. And I agree with that. It's starting to really unfold quickly now, isn't it? Because um, people are coming together in their truth movements. Okay. I'm just getting that redemption. Mm. I'm getting this song now for us. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is it Liza Minnelli or somebody sings this song? Don't rain on my parade. <laughs> What's that song? It's off like a musical, isn't it? Is it off Cabaret? So, don't be a battle, ma. Don't be a battle. You are the only one I know about. Don't rain on my parade. What's that song? It's off like a musical. <laughs> don't rain on my parade. Um, meaning it. This is for us, guys. It's not going to rain on our parade. This is our big year where I kept saying yesterday, we're well, marching. Uh, well, not marching. 
Oh my god, guys, we're so tired. We're going over the Japanese bridge yesterday, the Bridge of Freedom. And no one's going to rain on our parade. Don't rain on our parade. That's the song I'm getting. Um, hang on, let me see if something else to close with today. So, in other words, it's going to be all sunshine for us this year. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be nice if we got some sunshine in Australia for summer. We've hardly had any, guys, although it is sunny today. Um, God, we've had so few days. I would say probably 10 days this summer of sunshine. The rest has been gross, guys. Oh, everybody's tired. I know you guys must be really tired because I'm picking up very tired energy today. Um, everyone's just tired of, I guess we're tired of waiting for everyone to wake up. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Okay, I'll see what we get to close with. <laughs> I'm getting that song by, oh, who sings it? Ah. Oh trying to think who sings it but it's that song mad world it's a very very mad world you're been a mad world who sings that song it's a very very mad world dun, 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 dun. such a great song an oldie bit of goldie guys so I'm getting that it's a very mad world and it's a very mad world at the moment. It's very important to keep yourself safe and protected from all the people waking up because they're going to get literally not only feel a little crazy, but they're going to be mad as hell, aren't they as well? Um, hang on a sec. They've got something to finish. Guys are just saying not to make a rod for your own back. Um, in other words, to stay out of the nonsense. Don't get dragged into it again. People are going to try and drag us in and have conversations and prove themselves right. Don't fall for it. Don't go there. Um, stay independent of these like debates and arguments. Um, it's really important. God, I'm getting this song. It's called Lay Down, Lay Down, Lay Me On Down. What a ba 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 ba, and you better ba 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 ba. Lay down, lay down. What's that song? Meaning we can lay down and have a rest is what the guides are telling us to do. Um, finding that sense of calm and inner peace again. So I'm definitely getting that song today. Hang on. I'm getting this song and I'm sure it's by the Eagles today to finish off with it and it's I Can't Tell You Why. I can't tell you why. I... And and what the guides are saying is these people that are waking up and the people in the denial bubble seats are asking us why and like how we knew. How did we know this was all lies and garbage and deception? Um, and And we really can't tell them why. We just knew. And that's the song that I'm getting for us today. I can't tell you why. We really can't tell them why and how we knew. It was just a gut feeling. We sensed it. We just knew something was was not adding up. We can't really tell them why. And I guess that's something that they'll discover as they start to awaken and go through their awakening journey as well. So I'm going to leave you with that song today. Pretty sure it's by the Eagles. Oh, I'm so tired, guys. I'm going to have to get off this video because you guys and everybody out there is exhausted. Um, I've just got super tired energy. Um, so I'm going to go and take 
to multivitamin and pep myself up a bit today. Just feel really, really tired, guys. Because I can't tell you why is the song I'm going to leave you with today. Pretty sure it's by the Eagles. <laughs> Another Eagles song. Eagles soaring above. Looking down upon all of this. And that's the, where we have to stay, guys. <laughs> Observing. All right, I'm going to leave you with that today. Take care. Have a wonderful Monday, everybody. And I'll say goodbye from Australia, and I'll talk to you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit those like buttons. Please feel free to comment. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.